Alexander Fleming discovered the first antibiotic in 1928. Unknown to him at the time, his findings would quickly revolutionise the whole field of medicine forever. So we ask, what is an antibiotic and how does it work? Antibiotics are chemical compounds that kill or inhibit the growth of bacteria. They do this in a variety of different ways. Penicillin works by breaking down bacterial cell walls, killing bacteria and preventing further growth. Imagine it like popping a party balloon. Since the discovery of penicillin, many other antibiotics have been found and modified to make them more effective, as well as ever increasingly safe for human use. Different antibiotics work in different ways to kill or stop the growth of bacteria. Antibiotics like erythromycin and neomycin work by stopping protein synthesis inside the bacterial cells. By binding to specific RNA and other internal structures, these antibiotics stop the process of protein synthesis, which is a basic need for all living organisms to survive. Antibiotics like ciprofloxacin, on the other hand, bind to DNA enzymes, inhibiting DNA replication, which stops cell mitosis so the bacteria cannot divide and grow. However, in some cases, bacteria can become resistant to certain antibiotics. This happens because of natural selection. Some bacteria can contain DNA, which allows them to make enzymes capable of breaking down antibiotics. <laughs> These bacteria will survive such pressures, allowing them to proliferate and share their DNA with other bacteria, effectively giving them the same ability. Viruses are naturally immune to all antibiotics. This is because they do not perform the biological processes that bacteria do in order to survive. They also don't have cell walls. To make it easier and slightly more fun, imagine we give your mother-in-law a sledgehammer. We've also taken your car. Sorry about that. Luckily for you, we give you a tranquilizer dart. You should find it quite easy to prevent any damage being done to your car. However, the second time round, we remote control a small drone to fly into your car through its sunroof then have it connect via Bluetooth to transfer software to disable your car's brakes. A little harder to stop with a small tranquilizer dart, don't you agree? A virus isn't a living organism, and will only do damage to a cell once inside, whereas a bacteria will do damage to a cell from the outside and can be killed, or at least in your mother-in-law's case, put to sleep for a little while. Antibiotic resistance in bacteria is becoming one of society's greatest and most frightening problems, facing us with a huge challenge over the coming decades. Many antibiotics are found in nature, but as we continue to destroy our natural surroundings, such as the rainforests and marine environments, where else do we look? <laughs>